Hi guys, it's Alec here, and um, yeah, we uh, here's something for the VAT auditors and the VAT specialists out there. We say easy as VAT, um, yeah, but VAT is uh, quite a, a difficult one. It's not always easy, is it? And um, the reason for that actually is VAT is one of the mostly used uh, tax uh, uh, um, taxes out in our country. It's it's actually all around the world like that because it's used on so many transactions on a day to day basis. So uh, it's one of it's not like an income tax which is done you know every few months um, or something like uh, you know excise which is only done once you do a specific type of import transaction or, or whatever it may be uh, or you know like something like um, donations tax or 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 your or your dividends tax etc. This is something that's done on every single transaction and it's regularly done and also it's even more complicated than that because it depends on the type of VAT and secondly it depends on whether you're claiming it on the input side or whether you are actually going to pay it over on the output side okay when you raise invoices for your customers. Okay so this is what the purpose of this tutorial is on one of our apps called MyVAT. Okay so the purpose of MyVAT is to automate through certain certain AI algorithms and AI uh, technology that we've brought uh, forward to enable VAT specialists to ultimately really enhance their ability to audit and get grip of data, okay, on a detailed transaction level. But the reason why we actually want to automate the process is because a lot of our time is spent trying to actually generate spreadsheets and you and it takes so much time just to get to the point where you can now say now I'm ready to start actually analyzing the data so the purpose of the app it actually brings forward everything that's already been processed it then regenerates a reconciliation up to detailed level to show you how you've actually processed those transactions and then you as specialists come in on that level and look at the recon and say well did I maybe miss some input VAT so I can go and claim it and you know get some money back or did I by accident you know under uh, uh, under raise VAT on my output side so before I submit my VAT return I can have a look at it it's, it's a live connection to your database um, so it can actually help you then see mistakes before you submit um, and then also as we know there are certain recons out there like it 14 sd recon which needs to be extremely detailed so to get grip on detailed level helps you to make sure that whatever you are reconciling that you have full grip and that you can really now give the necessary comfort to your customer or to your company that what you have reconciled is accurate okay um, this my vat plugs into any pastel partner Pastel Express or Sage 50 Cloud Database. Right, so I'm going to quickly now jump into the app. This is this is my VAT, okay? And this is on a demo database of ours called Wow. Um, and firstly, I want to see you, show you, remember, all our apps are, um, are interactive and they are basically built from transaction level, but it is made for a person to, to, to look at and then enable them to make decisions or to drill down to detail should they need further information. But in the app, it's a one-click environment. This is an interactive slicer here. So for instance, VAT, you can go and say, well, I just want to look at one month, or I want to look at two month, a two-month VAT period, or I want to look at a whole year's VAT period, let's say March to, uh, to Feb, the next year, there's everything for that year, or I want to look at everything. Now you'll see actually uh, there are more than just two years in here. Well, a PSQL database at the, which sits at the back of a Pastel Partner and Express or Sage 50 Cloud database actually has up to five years of transactional GL data. You don't see that through Pastel. They only limit you to two years, but or your current and your previous year. But uh, if you actually are looking into the database itself, uh, then you actually have the ability to go up to five years. Okay. So um, then the, the, the reports that are standard in this actually is a VAT recon with a trial balance in it. So it actually reconciles your VAT control account. And it says, this is what's been processed through your control account. And this is how it's actually been processed. Um, so you'll see here, for instance, this says, well, you've processed system generated means it's been automated through your VAT control account, which in this case is 9500. You've automated certain VAT transactions and it's automatically come through your VAT side at 42,000. And now here at the bottom is a trial balance that shows you how actually it's been processed on a account by account basis. So now you can go through it and say, well, my sales 
I actually raise so much VAT, so much VAT um, by account, and it autom it, it basically puts your VAT back to the net leg and it places it against that net transaction. Okay, that's the elusive one. That's the really the one you want to say, what well, did I actually claim it? And you can then see stuff like uh, bank charges that I claim. And you can, for instance, see a blended rate. You can, for instance, see there's a 14,5. Well, remember now, we actually started to do 15% VAT uh, after, it was April 2018, right? I think so, yes. So if we look, for instance, at April, there we go, everything is 15. If we look at March, April, March 2018, everything is 14%. So there's also some nice things you can immediately see and get grip of there's an automated calculator here at the, at the side showing you how much VAT there was and specifically if you're going to go say well I want to go and at the end of August I want to do for instance a quick uh, submission of VAT you can go and see well there's everything 15% of what I claimed and what I've raised on okay so I'm going to get that back okay so should you have any questions then obviously and say well I want to see what this looked like your double click is your answer that's always something that will help you so you can go and double click on anything and that will ultimately bring you through to the transactional detail and say all right this is how it's made up in that transaction and that makes up that value I've just double clicked on this is your order trail your full GL order trail but it's got all great BI um, fields that, is, that we've added to help you actually now really look at this data and it's also been landed in a data table format this data table format is just something fantastic because it immediately enables you to really look at it from a data perspective like a pivot for instance if i if i include a pivot here quickly it automatically goes and selects my entire table it's not something i have to go and drag and select etc etc it actually sees this one body of data and it says give that table to me if I then put it in immediately, I've got all these nice fields available. We've added so many fields here. Remember now, when you pivot, know your fields is one of the most important things. And then secondly, also know you what, what you want to achieve. So if you want to achieve something, you know your fields, you can actually really play with pivot tables and get some awesome, awesome graphs, some awesome, awesome reports. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back into the app. I'm just going to zoom out slightly again. Okay, so I'm going to go into one other report here, which is a, a new report in the version 1.6.6 uh, that I've rolled out today, actually. Today is the 7th of August, 2020. I'm very excited about that. This is a E-type by tax type report. Okay, so uh, just to quickly uh, show you guys, I'm going to kind of like just bring it in here so you can see. I've got a little, uh, my little uh, uh, stop that was in the way there. Okay, so this report is quite cool because it shows you, firstly, what is my amount? That is the amount X VAT. What is my VAT against net leg? So this is your net leg amount. And then it shows you here what's the total. So let me show you, for instance, let's say uh, we actually wanted to go and uh, report, for instance, for the month of, um, let's make it May and July. Uh, oh, sorry, June and July. Then it says here, okay, well, how much did you sell? Okay, well, there's your first one. It actually gives you a breakdown between debtors, creditors, and general. So my debtors, for instance, 89,000 Rand here, of which 15, uh, the tax type 15, VAT type 15 was used, and there was 14,000 Rand worth of output VAT, okay? And then on the sales credit side, uh, there was actually 3,000 worth of credits put through with a 400 Rand um, VAT uh, that was reversed and then there's also 4,000 and 4,000 year on the none type here okay then on creditors there was uh, uh, there was some none and some VAT standard rate so you can go if you for instance a VAT auditor that wants to recover for your customer you're gonna drill down into this and say but why did we not claim on all of this is it correct um, if you go and actually open here you'll see that it actually gives you those two periods that's the fourth and the fifth period the reason for that is this is a Feb to March uh, company, a Feb, uh, a, a March year to February the next year uh, financial year period company, and this fourth period is obviously then June, and the fifth period is July. Okay, so um, you can actually see what you can submit now to SARS. If you say all is correct, then you can just open your VAT 201. You can say, okay, well, sales for that period was 106,000 Rand, excluding VAT. And including that, there you go. And we've also added the cents because we know SARS wants to see those cents and then it reconciles correctly. Um, 
you can also go and uh, see what was not VAT related so you can actually go and either reflect them in the correct exempt environments or whatever you need to do you can do the same with purchases um, and then you can also see we've got some uh, some generals Tip typically what you'll find is under your cash book processing you know when you have like uh, uh, like bank charges you'll claim for them you, you see there's for instance cash book payments if you open that yeah there was nothing claimed over here so you maybe go and say what well, why didn't we claim anything from a cash book perspective that seems to be strange okay so yeah, we are. Um, we've we've got full grip of that data, which really helps us a lot. And then, secondly, again, drill down features there. Double click if you have anything that you need to go and find more information on. Okay. Then also we've got some nice slices here. I just want to look at my VAT type fifteen. I want to look at none. I want to look at all or something like I want to look at my input VAT now. I want to look at my output VAT, and there's other, which is your general ledger stuff right so that all is interactive environments that now enables you as auditors to say so what what am i looking at and what do i actually want to now be on audit to give my customers you know the necessary uh correct feedback and also enables you as the expert to ultimately say but i don't have to do all this spreadsheet work i can really just focus on my expertise which is looking at transactions and looking whether they are accurate and whether everything was processed correctly. That is the purpose of what you are there as an expert for, right? Not to build spreadsheets. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I have. And thank you for tuning. I really appreciate it. Have a great day further, guys. Thanks, eh? Bye.